I'd never heard of hepatitis B until I was diagnosed. And it was a really, really dark time for me. What worries me is that so many other people are stuck in this darkness too. I'm 67 and an ex-teacher. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in the autumn of 2019. Three or four days before Christmas in 2019, I received a phone call from a hepat hepatology nurse who told me the Crohn's blood tests had flagged up that I had hepatitis B. Well, I thought it was something to do with dirty water, but every single search engine came up with drug addicts and unprotected sex. So I kept thinking, hmm, it must be a mistake. I had my first hepatology appointment in the first week of January and was expecting to go in and be told they'd got the diagnosis wrong. But of course they hadn't. My doctors changed the medication they were going to put me on for my Crohn's because they could have had an adverse effect on my liver. I was also put on antiviral medication to reduce the hepatitis B viral load. I thank God that I was diagnosed with Crohn's because through that I discovered my hepatitis B. I shudder to think that I could have gone through life without knowing it. When I was first diagnosed, I felt full of shame. I did tell some very close friends I thought I could trust, but I was terrified of anybody else finding out. Looking it up on the internet and thinking, oh, what's she been doing? I didn't go to the dentist for two years after I was diagnosed. I didn't want to fill in that medical form. It was bad enough putting Crohn's on it without hepatitis B as well. He'd been my dentist for many years. What would he think? Having hepatitis B is so lonely and I had no idea of how many other people had it. I wanted to reach out to other people like me. So I joined the British Liver Trust online Hep B group. It's nice to talk to other people with it. You feel like you're not the only one in the world with hepatitis B and somebody else understands. I think this support group was instrumental in moving my life on and to tell my story. I have now accepted the diagnosis and I'm determined to shine a light on hepatitis B. I now own it. I thought, do I stay here in my cave for the rest of my life? Or do I do something about it that will help others? If anyone had told me that within a few years I would be starting to tell my story, I would never have believed them. Wanting to make a difference to our lives drove me more than anything. I have now started to talk openly about my hepatitis B. Most people I tell say, oh, I'm terribly sorry, poor you. So I'm not getting the stigma that I thought I would. Here, stigma seems to be partly due to ignorance and fear. And that needs to be challenged. If it is not challenged, it will persist. I would say to anyone who does stigmatise me that no one has the right to judge other people. The best way to challenge stigma is through education. So many myths exist out there. Hepatitis B can affect anyone. And the more than anything else, I want people to get tested. If I didn't know I had it and was symptom free, how many more people are out there as a walking time bomb? I would also tell people not to self-stigmatise and to talk about it. It's therapy in a way, but it's also very empowering. I've been so lucky to have a husband and children who have loved and supported me every step of the way and cheer me on from the sidelines. I'm desperate to make a difference in any way I can. I'm just so passionate about it. In the past couple of years, I have become a patient representative for my local health trust, a member of the patient advisory group for the British Liver Trust and a member of the community advisory board for the Hepatitis B Foundation. Anything I can do to help people with Hep B, I'll grab with both hands. I just want to be that light that shines on it. I believe we all need to share our stories. And the more I talk about it, the more I feel it needs to be talked about and normalised. Otherwise, how will the perception of it ever change? <laughs>